Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with a late pickup video and another special pickup as well. So, as you guys know from the title itself right up there, it is the Jordan Royal Ones. So, backstory to this, this was Chaos. First release to come out for the ones that doesn't have the Jumpman logo, it's got the Nike Air on the tongue, and they made the crap out of these things limited as hell. So, um, well of course you, you still got the NYX colorway, but that's new. This is actually a retro of a original colorway, so, but the NYX don't count. I don't, I don't really count that one because you can, you can get those pretty easily. Anyways, these were tough as a mofo to get. I couldn't get them from my local house of hoops. They were the only one that had them. Nike Town never got them. Nikestore.com never got them. I believe it was uh, East Bay and Foot Action, if I remember off the top of my head, that only had them. And it was just damn near impossible to even try to get. So, lost all hope. Did a lot of searches to Nike Talk and stayed on the forum pretty closely. And there was a lot of Euro sites that were releasing them a little later. So I think within that same week or the following week. So thankfully, I got these off Snipes in Germany. And some of you are wondering how the hell I got them. And basically, I got a friend that's over in Germany that took care of me. You know, really appreciate what she did. But Snipes does not ship to the U.S. anymore. I think after a few chaotic releases, they do not ship to the U.S. In anymore. And it's strictly Europe only. So, sorry fellas, folks, ladies, kids, gentlemen, girls, guys, whoever. Um, Snipes is out of the picture unless you know somebody over in Germany that can take care of you. So, definitely got these on hand. Shout out to the girl. You know who you are. And, um... I'm, I'm happy that I got these. You know, these are actually a little bit different from the original uh, or the previous retro. These are actually closer to the original, thinner material on the collar, actually a little higher up top as well, and more true to the OG than the previous retro. The previous retros, they're comfy. The leather's a little stiff, but it doesn't have as much cushion as the originals does. So same thing as these, my friend actually, my buddy Cal, some of you guys might know him, he has a pair of the 1985's or 86 um, when they first came out and the padding is very similar so it's, it's pretty much this thin itself as is. How Jordan played ball on them I have no freaking clue because he managed somehow. But um, now I got these in. Material is decent I don't have a comparison to really look for, look look to from the original, but the craftsmanship sucks. So a little bit of wrinkle in this letter right here, if you guys can see right there. Um, I don't know if you can see the details, but definitely make sure to look at it in HD. Got some glue marks and, and some stains and scratches right there. But other than that, there was nothing else to it. The shoe is phenomenal. And uh, oh, a little bit of creases right there as well. That's factory creasing. I didn't put it on there. Haven't tried these on yet. So, and of course, the prize pickup. These were the Valentine's Days five, and it you know it didn't sell out. I don't know what it was. Maybe this colorway was just too crazy. But this was to my home girl. She picked these up for me. I hook her up with stuff and send it over to Germany. So these are going out with the. 13s that came out recently and a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna ship those out tomorrow so hang on tight hopefully you should get them in about a week and a half and I know you'll love these once you get them um, definitely different and, and one thing a lot of you guys don't know is in Europe shoes are very similar to Canada where prices are actually a little higher so for me to get them from the state is actually cheaper for her so good for her but let me show you a little bit of details on that, you know? Details on, on both the shoes, just so you guys can see them up close and, and you can see kind of the defects of what came with the freaking shoe. But anyways, I'm pretty psyched that I got these. The ones are one of my favorite shoes. Not the most comfortable, the threes are the more comfortable ones for me, but I'm just worried about the black toes. Right now, I don't know if I need to pre-order them from a reseller just in case. Um, 
But, oh, actually brings up the fact, these cost me about $220 shipped from Germany. So, they are a little bit more, but it's better than paying up the rate price right now because there is no way you can find them for less than probably $300 at this point. So, and the price is probably going to keep going up on these suckers in the long run. Anyways, let me show you a close-up of these. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, make sure to hit me up. And other than that, peace out. All right, there you have it. So the detailed look of the shoe itself, it comes with the extra laces right there. And then the swoosh is not a new buck or suede material like the previous one, as you, some of you guys might know. Comes with the black laces right there. And the toe. And you guys can kind of see where the wrinkle is that I'm talking about. So, it is what it is. Can't complain. And once I'm going to wear these, it's going to crease right there anyway. So, there you have that. And that little crease that I'm talking about right here on the heel. The bottom's cool. Very easy to clean. Just got the Nike Air on there. And... No jump man in the back. Inside is pretty simple. It's got Nike here also. I don't know if you guys can see. Barely. I'm not going to bother trying to get the lighting in there. But the nylon tongue. Keeping it true. Keeping it real. That's where it was. So. But there you have it. These are the Jordan 1 Royals. Did you guys get a pair? Were you guys able to get a pair? How did you get them? How much you pay? I mean, let me know. And are you guys really worried about these raw, uh, black toes that's coming out, I think, in May? So, the same month as grapes. Oh, let me show you one thing. Mm, it's kind of hard to see. you got to see it at a certain angle. Ah, there you have it. Kind of ugly looking right there, but once it's on feet, you can't really tell. Let me show you a quick one with the Valentine's Day 5. These are fresh, these are nice. I don't know if I would personally wear them myself if I was a girl, but the material, I mean, you can't really screw it up. Jordan brand, you know, the material is pretty cut and dry. It's a nice, nice colorway right there. It might, who knows? You guys might, uh, the ladies might regret it not getting them later, but I think they're still sitting on the shelf. A couple weeks ago, I still saw some of them on the shelf I don't know what sizes but at my local finish line got the nice icy translucent sole pink bottom put the flame and what I really love is that nice little touch right there so there you have it and you got the giant ass lace lock but retail sticker price on these bad boys was uh, 115 so you, know, you, you ladies are fortunate to get these shoes for 115 because these damn things over here were uh, I think a buck 40 so anyways there you have it if you guys got any questions make sure to rate comment and subscribe other than that peace out